Hello again. Um, I thought I'd just share a, qu a few quick tips um, on how I made this card. It's very simple. An aperture die for the background, a bit of coloured card underneath, a little um, baby grow onesie, whatever you care to call it, and a sentiment. But some of these things do present a few little problems along the way. Um, one, if you want to have this coloured, and your hand is not too steady for colouring between things. This is a this is a way of making it really precise. Another thing, when you come to put on a die like this, which in a way really should be, to my mind, the hearts up straight rather than being on a funny angle. How to get them absolutely up straight when you can't see <laughs> when you can't see the hearts. So a tip for that, and how to colour very intricate things if you've already die cut them. I'm going to show two ways of doing it. One where you uh, colour after you've die cut and the other is, is easy when you can you can just colour the card before you die cut it. So let, let's get going and just see. Gummy a pan, gummy a pan. I'm not sure of this one. I think it's one of those ones that came from Craft Stash. I can't remember the name. I will look it up and I'll try and put it in the description below the video. So I'll put that on one side just for the minute. I have got a, a panel cut. I have got my card base cut. So I'll put that on one side. Now, as for getting these things straight, you can see that I've popped this die onto a piece of low tack. This is low tack tape. So my suggestion is this you can either put a little glue onto your surface like this and pop a piece of low tack tape onto it good and straight that's just to keep that low tack tape in place whilst you put this die or whatever die it is that you want to have straight on the top and line it up. I think I'll pick it up with tweezers so my fingers don't get in the way of the alignment. I think that is about, and I'm popping it down onto the low tack tape. Now, because I've got this piece of um, low tack tape straight, if I put this straight on top, about the middle and then press so that the tape sticks to the card I can pull this up together with the die it's sticking there and now I can cut it out so open up my cutting machine pop this in and cut it out. Now, if you don't feel that you want to put a bit of um, glue stick on your mat, that's fine. If you have, um, if you have a sticky mat, a sticky mat would be perfect for you to pop your um, low tack tape onto before you put your. Look at all those pretty little hearts there. That's sweet could use those for shakers couldn't you in the shaker card and there you see the hearts are perfectly up straight facing the way you want without any problem of is it straight is it not straight okay let's just dry this off that's the first thing getting that a die that you can't see from the back so a solid die you see you can't see where the hearts are there so getting those in the orientation that you want. So that's that one. Let's just pick these up. Um, scrape the rest off, I think. Now, the next thing, sorry about that horrible noise. The next thing is the sentiment. Um, here's the sentiment that I've cut out. This, is, this was um, an aperture from another card I made. Um, just use it for odd bits of die cutting. So there I have got it's cut out. So what I'm going to do here 
is to put some low tack tape onto the back of this. Because I want this piece of card to hold those um, die cut words in it whilst I colour them. I, I noticed somebody the other day, they were trying to colour tiny little die cuts. I mean, gummy a pan, let's face it, do some amazingly small die cuts. So if you can get something to anchor them, then, you know, it's a lot easier. Right, it came out, doesn't matter. You just take it out of the die and pop it back into here onto that low tack tape. So that tape is just going to hold it still while we colour it. It saves getting your fingers in the way. Let's just pull this one straight out after doing all that messing about. We'll just get this one out. Here we are. And we'll put this back into there. Okay. Now, how I coloured the other one was with um, an alcohol marker. But this one I thought we'd try and do a slightly different way and we'll do it with some with an ink pad. So what we do is this. Obviously this doesn't work if you're going to be colouring things in lots of different colours but because I want this all the same colour I can just do that and it's coloured. Okay now the other thing was these. What are we going to do about these? Could do the same thing with this. Pop one back in there. Just one. Just one. And I'm going to drag my ink over this all over as well. If I'd put low tack tape on the back of here, it would have held this as well. Okay. Now we'll just leave that on one side for a minute just to dry. So the next thing we're going to do, and I've cleaned up this inky mess, is um, the alternative to doing it this way is just to do the same thing, but before you do the die cutting. So what you do, here's a piece of spare. I think that's spare, yes. Just ink over it. If you want to, if you wanted to pale a colour, you could just sp spritz it a bit with water. But I'm going to keep it just as is. Okay. So now I've got a piece of coloured card. Why put this again? So the, the reason I did it this way is so that you could see the, the, the method of keeping a little die cut in a piece of card with a bit of low tack tape on the back, just to keep it still while you colour it. If, you, if you're colouring with, you know, little flowers and you've got some green and some colours, whatever, it makes it a lot easier. Okay, now then, let's try him. What I will do, I need to dry him off a little bit. Oh, come on. Such a pretty colour, this is tumbled, tumbled glass. Now, this one I'm going to use as a base. What I'm going to do with this one is to cut it up. Now, really, for, for snipping dies, you, you do need a pair of scissors that go to a good sharp point because you often have to get into somewhere. OK, I'm going to cut the cuffs off because I'd like those to be white. So here we go, cutting off the two cuffs. Most of the line is cut already. All you have to do is make a little snip to the end. Watch this, little snip there. I'm cutting the top off, the hood off at the minute. Little snip there, and there should be a little snip in the middle. Okay, now we've got that off, okay? What I want to do now is to take this placket out. So, 
little snip at the bottom. It kind of goes round the corner at the bottom. So snip at the bottom of this one, snip at the top of this one, and that side comes off. Uh, before I lose it, why don't I stick it down? So a little bit of glue on the back. There we go. The contrast of the colour and the white really livens the die cut up enormously. Now let's cut this placket right out of this one. Should be a little snip at the top. Oh, it's already snipped at the top. So it's just a snip at the bottom. And that's it. Okay, so that is now ready to go on the other side. So a little bit of glue. There we go. We'll stick this on the other side. There we are. Just get it, I mean, it's easy to align because there are lines there for you just to stick it to. Now, the hood, I'm going to cut, leave it with white ears, so I'm going to cut off the ears. And just a couple of snips. Snip, 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 snip. They're only hanging on by a tiniest little bit. So the lines actually give definition if you don't want to, to vary the colour, but make it easy to separate if you do. There we are. Now I'll colour the, the hood. And there is our hood coloured. We could have the... Um, I think I might, have, I might do that actually. Just the edge of the hood. Cut that off as well. Have a band of white around the top of the hood. There we are. Oh, it's got three bits, this one. It's got one in the middle as well. Three bits to snip. There we are. Stick this on the top. There we go. So there's our little onesie. Now, <laughs> it's a bit sticky. Oh, Lord. There we go. Pop those in the bin. Right. Now, um, this is not quite dry, because I'm going to use a little bit of that to go underneath here to show through like that. And we can also, I could actually just die cut those if you wanted to do um, the whole of the um, sentiment in the same colour. Right. Now, I could either put a piece of uh, double-sided tape on the back of this. I could use glue. I could use all, do all sorts of ways of attaching the sentiment to the front of the card. But this time, I think what I will do is I will use some um, micro dots. Micro dots are great fun. All right, let's get these out of here. So this way of doing it is, is brilliant if you've got little bits of um, die cuts that you you need to put different colours on and it's going to be a bit fiddly. So there's our new and here's the baby. Okay. New baby. So let me just get some micro dots. Oh, here's some. I think there's some on, yeah, there's some on there, I think. It's difficult to see. Right, 
these are very, well, as they, as they are indicated by their name, very, very, very tiny little sticky dots. In between two sheets, like some from at the top there, and all you do is put whatever die cut you've got onto these little dots, close it up and just press down on the top to make sure that those dots are sticking to the back of your die cut. And then you take them out Peel them off. And stick them onto your card. It's as simple as that. Really, really simple. This particular set of micro dots are by Sticks to Anything. It's a company in Britain. There we go. I'm going to show you the packet. This is what they look like. Micro adhesive dots. Um, brilliant for very, particularly for you know intricate ones like this. And they don't look to me like they're quite in the right place. So I can just move them a little bit for a short while until they've kind of settled down. Right, I think that's better. That's better. So all I have to do now is cut off a piece of this, mount it behind there, and stick it onto my card face. So, really, really simple card. This one, just stuck on with a little bit of my, um, you could use the micro dots again, but I actually used my tape runner. That's what I used, because it's really good, strong glue. So that was a real quick one. So I hope you've learned, a couple, you know, been, a couple of things have been useful. Um, and uh, thanks so much for watching.